Like, I've never sat here and watched uh, freaking Batman vs. Superman slash Justice League and see, you know, mm. it's by Superman's death and resurrection that they conquer the enemy and then be like, uh, I wonder if the creators of the show, of these <laughs> movies, want me to believe in Superman as the Savior. Yeah, that's never, like, that's never my mind. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never watched a post-apocalyptic movie and been like, "Is mm. this how it's going to be in the end times?" Yeah, like, exactly. Look at yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who just does that? Toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like who does that, bro? <laughs> which parallels the three false prophets of Revelation. Okay. I just I just want to say... Already. They're literally <laughs> making the point that I just made for me. Um, yeah. Dark side is riffing off of uh, religion, and the creators are riffing off of religion, uh, mm -hmm. precisely because dark side is evil and a manipulator, and... Mm -hmm. uh, He's really depicted here as a cult leader. And yeah, yeah. cult leaders are bad people. Yeah. <laughs> they They're use, bad guys. They use religion. The yes, and they use religious concepts and ideas as a means of manipulating and controlling people. So big surprise that Dark Side uh would do that as well. But again, that demonstrates a kind of antichrist, um, which they say. But that necessarily pits Superman, the hero of the yeah. story, as a type of Christ. Again, mm -hmm. type. He's different and right, similar right. at the same time, and that's mm -hmm. okay. Because, again, it's typology. Mm -hmm. We're not arguing that he is Jesus. Because right. if he was Jesus, he would just mm -hmm. be Jesus. <laughs> like, right. yeah. like, literally, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, Jesus. Okay, have you ever seen the... Um, uh, nostalgic critic review of man of steel i don't think so okay you should because he makes that joke oh really <laughs> like Superman just literally being jesus like every time the zack Snyder uses uh like a christian icon or puts superman in the crucifixion pose he does an i am jesus i am jesus voiceover oh that's <laughs> really funny it's hilarious oh that is it's really so funny, funny. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember too figuring out that like some of their promotional material even include um I think it was Wonder Woman or uh oh. Superman's mother like holding Jesus um mm -hmm. or holding Jesus holding Superman in mm -hmm. the same way that that famous artwork has Mary holding yeah. Christ. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Descended. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So uh, Lois Lane held him in that same position when he was killed by Doomsday and yeah. Superman Doomsday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh no, they're uh they're definitely trying. This isn't like a conspiracy theory. They're they're the ones I mean it's conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's still a conspiracy theory. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> Little Eye Studios is the one with the conspiracy theory. We uh <laughs> they're actually promoting this as a as a as a, a Christ figure. So spoiler alert. Yeah. Prepare the hearts of people around the world, offering them eternal life, salvation, and a place in the rapture. When dark side returns. Oh, they have a note here that says they are in a church and he kneels by the Trinity symbol. Um, yeah, sounds like a cult. Sounds like what the yeah. Antichrist would want to do yep. is establish a cult around himself. <laughs> uh which again dark side's a bad guy. Yeah, which again <laughs> necessarily makes Superman, you know, the savior of the world from Dark Side, yep. the Christ figure. Yes. I don't know why yes. they 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 were literally right there, and they right and they there. still <laughs> and they yes. still missed it. The context is yeah. Dark Side, the king of an entire planet, with all political institutions at his fingertips, is descending upon the Earth as a vengeful, violent oppressor. That G that <laughs> I almost said Jesus. That Superman is opposing. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. <laughs> this this sounds like Christ versus Satan. This sounds like um 
mm-hmm. or you know, Michael versus Satan, however you want to do it. It's not like yeah, Christ yeah. versus Satan. This sounds like good mm-hmm. versus evil, which is mm-hmm. a tale as old as time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've done what you asked. They won't know apocalypse is coming. They even have blacked out eyes like demons. Like how explicit, <laughs> how explicit can the allegory he's a bad get? Guy. Did you get he's a bad guy? Well, he's yeah, a bad guy. like they're yeah. Our dark lord will be pleased. Now he has one final mission of you to protect the souls we've saved. The judgment is upon us. We've saved the living souls from the coming apocalypse to serve the Dark Lord. Our work is done. Leave, oh, oh, okay. Say that again. So I have to tell you guys just real quick. Um, mm. I was jump scared when I first saw this video by the presence <laughs> of Green Arrow because yeah. I did not know that he was ever in this show. I've only I seen, didn't know that either. Yeah, I've only seen the character from the Injustice um, games and then. Uh, oh, hero, the TV show. So when I saw him show up, I was like, "What are wow. you doing what here? <laughs> Why yeah. are you here?" Uh, yeah. Mark has been lifted. That's impossible. I got this friend. Cool leather jacket, blurs faster than a speeding bullet. He's pretty good at impossible. You were so close to experiencing the rapture, known only to those who will be serving our Lord. For eternity, while all the others perish. Do you really think you possess the power to vanquish our Lord from the souls of those he saved? No, but I got friends in high places. Dark side is. Lo- so can we just real quick? So I don't know the context. So this joke is based on what we just saw, kind of out of context. Can we talk okay. about? Can we talk about how these guys are like? Yeah, Judgment Day is gonna be so epic when Dark Side comes and does yeah. everything that we expect him to. And do you right. really think you can stop us when we have so much power and we are so epic? And then like they get shot with an arrow and they just yeah. <laughs> cease they to disappear. exist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't uh, you know how much Dark Side cares about his peons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's something off with the arrows or special with the arrows or something. <laughs> you know, Green Arrow's known to have specialty arrows. Uh even right. freaking like uh the 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 boxing punch arrow. Oh yeah. yeah that whole thing. So yeah. yeah but uh that is kind of funny though. <laughs> Lucifer, and he is taking for himself the attributes of Jesus. Interestingly, in this story, as uh, an evil cult leader does, Little Life Studios, that's kind of the point. (laughs) Yeah. It's Dark Side that's the moral savior, or in this case, immoral savior. Two Christ like figures fighting against each other. Both have features of Antichrist. One is the Antichrist who didn't die on the cross. Okay, cool. Just assert the fact. Oh, no, they he's said anti- something I agreed with about Darkseid being the Antichrist. Yes. <laughs> one little clause. Yes. And then they moved on. Uh, I love that they just assert that <clears throat> Superman is the Antichrist because he didn't die on the cross. Like, <laughs> did that's you watch not... the entire first video? Did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not what the Antichrist is or does. <laughs> no. He doesn't just not die on the cross. <laughs> right. You don't you don't get to call Superman the Antichrist because he didn't die on the cross. Didn't die on the cross. You know. And having superpowers. Uh, yeah. So that's also a qualifier for the Antichrist. Uh, yeah. Um, they also just assert what they think. Um, they don't actually provide any evidence uh, or argumentation for it. They're just like, hey, 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 notice what they're doing? It's kind of similar to this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's like that's that's <laughs> not an argument. Yeah. That's not an argument, <laughs> or at least not a good argument. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The other is the Antichrist that's coming in the end times. Yeah, sounds like the actual Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Little Light Studios. You're right oh there. Gosh. 
You're, wow. you're right. Dark side is the Antichrist. That is a, a yes. type of the Antichrist. That is literally the entire point. He is evil. He's Satan. All that fun stuff. But what yes. if Superman is opposing him with all this virtue and excellence and power? Mm -hmm. What do you think he is? He's not Antichrist number one. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm really like, yeah. you're right there, yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. The only, thing, the only thing this video really did for me is inspire me to think about the contrast between Superman as he actually exists and Darkseid as he actually exists, which I kind of got into earlier about Darkseid being a king of a planet. So having all of the political institutions, all the social institutions, all of the power is his. And he rules it with an iron fist. And it's very interesting in a later video that uh, Little Light Studios did about Superman, where they quote Zack Snyder saying that if Superman was actually existing like in our world that he would be telling our world leaders like here's what you do like he would rule like dark side but superman actively doesn't do that because he's a character of virtue because he has humility because of his upbringing because he's a good person he is a person of excellent moral character. He's right, right, virtue, right, which is what uh, Christians aspire to as well. Is, is right, uh, right, virtue. That's that's actually like been a part of our ethic. Like Christian virtue mm -hmm. has been a whole thing since like the, the second century. <laughs> right, right. The lost son of Jerusalem. Dark side. Darkseid makes Jesus into Satan, therefore also making Superman a Satan, becoming a Christ. No. That's not... <laughs> Darkseid is, Dark is riffing off the second coming mm. of Jesus in the human Christian religion uh, as a evil political dictator who right, mm -hmm. rules with an iron fist and is deceiving people. Who does that sound like? How many times have I heard someone interpret the book of Revelation <laughs> as believing, uh, as saying that mm -hmm. all people or, or that all the Nate, that we will have a one world government mm -hmm. under which the antichrist will be the head. Who does that sound like to you? It sounds like dark side here, not yeah. Superman. Yeah, He's, the guy who's actively opposing dark side. Yes. The totalitarian dictator who has an entire planet under his thumb. Yes. He he is the antichrist to Superman's Christ. Or hmm. um yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's Yes. <laughs> that is that is what's going on. He's not he's not um Satan becoming Christ. He is Satan or the Antichrist mimicking mm. uh, Christ in Christianity as a means of manipulating people. That's what cult leaders mm. do. That's what and, several cult yeah. leaders have done this in real yeah. life, in our time. Yeah, and this actually just came to me. Is They're making this huge deal about how um, Apocalypse is supposed to be a twisted version of heaven coming down. And this is actually something I get from Lord of Spirits. So thank you, host of Lord of Spirits. The understanding of Satan's fall is also him descending. Of also him bringing not his kingdom because he was one guy with his followers, or one angel with his followers, but he also descended. Like this isn't an unprecedented yeah. idea of evil coming to earth as well as good coming to earth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a very evil and twisted person uh, mm. descending to the earth to deceive the masses. Mm. Sounds like Satan. Like... <laughs> Sounds kind of like the Antichrist. It doesn't, he's not becoming, he's not Christ yeah. becoming Satan. He's just yeah. Satan mimicking yes. Christ. I just, mm. I don't understand. They're right there. How did they miss? It? It's right <laughs> there. <laughs> like because just... Superman is the first Antichrist. <sighs> we watched an entire video already. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I will. I will repent of my error and stop watching this. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, he was on a cross and he has superpowers. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're clearly trying to make a mockery of my faith. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, really? What, what is yeah. happening here? They're intending you to look at the real Jesus 
as a villain. You see, that all relies no. on you saving us from the coming apocalypse. They did it again. <laughs> the replacement gods. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You know about Dark Side. You really think I just read the cliff notes of the Veritas journals? They foretold of a chosen savior. The, uh, hmm. Once again, Rao is the true religion of Smallville, which Superman is a follower of. I just, uh, I don't. Interesting, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't understand this. Um, they, uh, okay. My mom watched Smallville. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's that's why I, I know. Like it? I watched, yeah, she loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I watched it with her. When I was a kid, oh, yeah, okay. that's why I have me vague memories of it. Um, she loves Jesus. <laughs> okay, she never, she never watched Smallville, uh, and was like, "Huh, hmm. I wonder if Jesus is actually the bad guy." Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one, no one does that. Uh. They Lex Luthor. It's all become clear to me. <laughs> a CW style take on Superman is all it took. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't understand how they like. It's like they walk through the desert to get to the river, only to not drink from it. Like I don't. Hmm. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> only to look at the water and say, "Ah, yes, more sand." <laughs> 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 Yeah, literally, bro. Literally. <laughs> oh man, that's that's actually a really good analogy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. Oh man, the intent, you know, because mm. authorial intent does matter. Mm. <laughs> the intent of the writers of Smallville, the intent of the creator of the first Superman movie in 1978, mm. and other subsequent things was to create the parallel between Jesus and Superman. Mm -hmm. So that was their intent, uh, at least in part. So if Darkseid is the Antichrist, which you agree, the Little Light Studios, you and I both agree here, uh, is a All of us are agreements about figure, that. Right. Then it is necessary for the analogy to work, um, the parallel to work, the parallelisms to work, Mm -hmm. And to respect the intent of the creators of the show, it is necessary then to see Superman as a Christ figure, mm -hmm. which you can do. Because again, read Romans 5. Adam mm -hmm. is nothing yeah. like oh. Jesus, but that was the point of the typology mm -hmm. that Paul created in Romans 5. Mm -hmm. So even if Superman had some parallels, but mostly contrasts, it would heighten the typology. It would heighten the contrast or, or mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the the parallels and and the association of the two. It would not derail it, and it would not mm -hmm. make Superman the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. This is a, just a fundamental misunderstanding of typology and how you can apply typology to cinema broadly and also to Superman uh, as he's been reimagined since the mm -hmm. 70s. And I think that's like really the failure of this <laughs> entire thing yeah. here. This has been part of the devil's agenda for thousands of years. The book of Revelation states that Jesus we is the Alpha it. and the Omega. Most people may think they are familiar with the mark of the beast, but most don't realize that the mark of the beast is Satan's counterfeit to the seal of God, which marks the foreheads of God's followers at the end of time. We get uh, a sticker? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so that's probably the case. Um, the figures in the book of Revelation are, mm -hmm. yeah, again, riffing off of um, different things. And this relates back to the Old Testament and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so at least in their interpretation of Revelation, in this particular instance, they are right here. Um, they seem to be seven-day Adventists. Uh, they seem to think that there's like this whole conspiracy in the government to make Sunday worship the like law of the land or something which is a, <laughs> which is a specifically uh, seven day adventist take a uh, oh. hot hot take at that um <laughs> um so uh yeah so they seem to be seven day adventist um 
so they have a particular understanding of the book of revelation probably mm -hmm. um based on the uh interpreting through the lens of ellen g white whether they realize it or not she started mm -hmm. the denomination she was the one having all these visions and stuff and it informed her biblical interpretation right. So um, I would just dis probably disagree with their view of eschatology, but in this particular instance, they are uh, right here. So, yeah. The symbol of the Greek letter Omega begins to appear on people's foreheads, similar to the seal of God, instead of 666, which would be the mark of the beast. Um, hey, guys. It's because Darkseid is an evil dictating cult leader. <laughs> like there's a reason for that of course he would do that he's trying to manipulate people that is the entire point dark side is a evil dictating manipulating cult leader uh who is trying to take over the world by descending not second coming but descending this is right. the first time dark side's been here um <laughs> descending <laughs> descending that's actually uh, worth pointing out isn't it yeah yeah um to to yeah take over the earth i mean yeah this mm -hmm. is yeah which again if superman's in opposition to him then for the allegory to make sense which they're clearly creating he needs to be the christ-like figure mm -hmm. which again should rather than cause us to panic mm -hmm. and fear uh you know little uh, uh the creators of smallville trying to mm -hmm. uh subvert mm -hmm. christ and, and make him out to be uh, mm -hmm. mock him or whatever Right. We should rather see this as a, a a time and a way to reflect, to use cinema mm -hmm. that we watch, secular cinema, to reflect on our own uh, faith and morals. So, but uh, they're not interested in that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> so we're proving we have proof. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but in the end, Superman flies up, stops the second coming from taking place. It it's it is the first coming of Dark Side. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, I was being sarcastic with that. Yeah, that comment about it being important to point out this is the first time he's ever made it. But lo and behold, that actually became <laughs> actually meaningful to this conversation. <laughs> yeah. That's so self evident. <laughs> yeah. And removes the seal of God from everyone's foreheads. Okay. Um. Where in the text do you think that the Greek symbol for Omega is the seal of God, just because God and Christ are called Alpha and Omega? A little light. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. Like I you you just made a random jump in yeah. in logic with your hermeneutics and never explained why you jumped. <laughs> That's I Okay. That's true, isn't it? I didn't yeah. catch that. Every single time I watched that, that's so true. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But then again, if uh, if they if they fail to interpret Smallville, then mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> I don't really trust <laughs> them in their hermeneutics. The Bible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh heck yeah. Yes, thank you, Superman, for yes. stopping the Good evil job, cult Superman. leader. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus, for uh, yes. eventually bringing an end to the Antichrist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nietzsche said we need no God. We only need Ubermensch, the Superman. So it's fitting that Smallville ends with Superman defeating the second coming of a God who offers a world salvation. Uh. Okay. Little Ice Studios, I need you to come on, come on, come on. Dark side claimed to be offering the world salvation. He was not actually going to offer the world yeah. salvation. Okay. A evil yeah. manipulative dictator decides mm -hmm. to come to earth and deceive, mm -hmm. descend to earth to deceive the masses. And mm -hmm. you go, yes, his deception was right. It's the right. 
That's, so, that's true, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's so... You're taking Darkseid's side. Yes. Wow. Yes. You that's you drank Darkseid's Kool Aid, and now you don't like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Irony upon irony upon irony. Oh. So I actually have a couple of thoughts about this. One of them actually came to me uh, watching the video. Is I think this is a this is not just a misunderstanding of all the above that we've talked about. I think this is a misunderstanding of the very specific idea of well, I think it's yeah, it's premillennialist eschatology because like we've already pointed out, this is the first time Dark Side comes to Earth. This is a more fitting metaphor of God defeating Lucifer or God defeating the Leviathan or Christ rising the first, like rising from the dead, the like um, on earth, not, yeah. not the end of the world. And uh, as somebody who has read Frederick Nietzsche, Superman is not in any way the Ubermensch. Okay. It's, yeah. So talk about that. What is that? Yes. Oh my goodness. So the Nietzschean Ubermensch is the self-referential, basically all-powerful man. Man, because Frederick Nietzsche didn't believe that women could ever do this because he was sexist. But specifically the Ubermensch um, is, he's, um, I guess you can also understand this is kind of the peak of human evolution, even though Frederick Nietzsche wasn't uh, like a Darwinian evolutionist because it wasn't widespread at the time. But he did believe that humanity was between divinity and uh, barbarity or animalhood. And the closer the humanity got to divinity was when he became the Ubermensch. And, we, and humanity knows that it produces the Ubermensch when that person can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, the moment that he wants it, without any regard for his fellow human beings. And in point of fact, in, I think it's the spoke Zarathustra, <clears throat> this literal end of human evolution is almost explicitly stated because he has, in his version of Zarathustra, say that all of humanity will die to bring forth the Ubermensch, which is not Superman. Yeah, but, Superman, like, yeah, he's not someone no. who's just going to do whatever he wants, whenever yes. he wants. And I mean, Superman, no one... And the people won't actively, be able to stop him, but he actively yeah. seeks virtue. Yes. And so the thing about virtue and empathy and pity and the Nietzschean idea of morality is that that's a slave morality. The Ubermensch is master. The master has strength. He has, well, selfishness, honestly. And he has sovereignty, perfect sovereignty. Superman's empathy, his pity, his virtue makes him a slave. Not the Ubermensch. Even though he's all powerful, he's, if anything, so a subversion people, of the idea of the Ubermensch. So these people read yeah. Nietzsche. I hope they didn't it, read Nietzsche. I they, feel bad for Nietzsche. I feel bad for Nietzsche with that take. Um, yeah. So they misinterpreted no. Nietzsche mm -hmm. just and tried to apply it to Superman. When yes. Nietzsche would view Superman as the exact opposite of what Little yes. Light Studios thinks Nietzsche would think of Superman. Oh, 100%. Yeah, Nietzsche okay. had a great disdain for, for specifically Christianity and by extension Judeo-Christian uh, ethics because it's slave morality. It's which empathy. is exactly – Turning the, basis, the other cheek. Yeah. Which is exactly the, the basis for the character Superman. Yes. Yes, just because he's oh. big and strong – doesn't make him the Ubermensch. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. so glad you're here. So, because yeah. I would not have read Nietzsche, Nietzsche long enough to figure that out. Yeah. Um, so no. they misinterpret scripture. They mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and have applied. a flawed, un yeah, falsely yeah. applied scripture. Uh, mm -hmm. They misinterpret Smallville and they've now misinterpreted Nietzsche. Even Frederick Nietzsche. Oh man, Perry Nietzsche wasn't all that great a guy, so I don't know that I feel all that badly about his idea being misapplied. I mean, I kind of feel bad for it because I don't want people to think that just because you're big and bad means that you're selfish. By oh default. yeah, no, because like obviously Superman is not. Yeah, yeah. this video has thirty two thousand views, so I I think <laughs> I think it would be important to bring up the their uh, yeah. all their misinterpretations. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair, but.
No, the, the Ubermenschian ideal, um, if you could think of, well, we were both, we're both familiar with Berserk, right? Yeah. So that's a very interesting, yeah, yeah. That's a very interesting take on Nietzsche because Nietzsche is actually explicitly referenced in the manga. Oh. And yeah, it's, it's really fascinating. So is, we were going to get into some really hardcore nerdiness and some real hardcore Nietzsche understanding. Is Griffith the, the Ubermensch or is Guts the Ubermensch? Both of them are pretty powerful. Even Griffith himself becomes all powerful, but Griffith fails to become the Ubermensch because ultimately he's subverted to a power, a power higher than himself, being the God Hand and specifically Void. But Guts, even though he lacks Griffith's perfect sovereignty, he's still opposing Griffith and he's still opposing the powers that be. And he's also big and strong. Mm. Yeah, it's far closer to the Nietzschean ideal than Griffith, even though Griffith is, by every metric, a worse guy. Mm. Yeah. That is that is really interesting. Yeah, okay. the, the fundamental part about the Ubermensch is that he transcends humanity. He transcends human morality. He yeah. transcends, I guess, neediness, community, because he's the only one. Yeah, he's this like top. socially... Uh, like a socially constructed moral system. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Nietzsche yeah. believed every moral system is socially like constructed. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's wow, that is so horrible. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I don't trust him with anything now. Over 2,000 years ago, Satan was extremely successful in deceiving the world about the true nature of God that when he sent his only son, the world did not recognize him. Throughout the Dark Ages, the church was enshrouded with gross misconceptions of God's love. Truth was mixed with pagan beliefs. Corruption and myth was traded for the gospel. Okay. Here in the what? 21st century, the deceptions haven't changed. They have only intensified. The characters in the stories have transformed, but the core of the lie has always rang through that the gods of this world are the heroes, and the god of heaven is the evil villain. That's a lot of arrogance to say that we got it right in the present day, and everybody who ever came up with any idea that you had got it wrong. That's all I got to say about the idea of like the medieval church there is being so shrouded much, in ignorance or whatever it is. There is so much wrong with this. First, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's a thing now for historians to constantly point out the fact that there is no such thing as the Dark Ages. Right, yeah. I mean, um, so there's that. That's a good please, start. Yeah. Please, please fact check me, look into that. I don't think there is any such thing as the Dark Ages. That came from a, a weird thing. That's the first thing. I mean, it's uh, colloquially still called that, but yeah. I know that people call it now medieval age or middle age. Yeah. And some people don't even prefer that. They get like really granular about the yeah. kind, the development of like France, like what France was doing at the time or what England was doing at the time and the layman after that. Yeah. There's some hardcore nerds on TikTok and YouTube. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, secondly, um, so, okay, this is a seven, again, this is a seven day of Venice idea. Um, the Christian church, you know, might've been fine in the, fine. Uh, in the first century and maybe a couple hundred years later. But eventually, somehow, Christianity, usually because of Constantine, uh, dirty old boogeyman Constantine, <laughs> um, he, he uh, you know, wants to reconcile the Roman Empire. So Christianity mm -hmm. combined with paganism. And that's why you worship on Sunday. It's not because <laughs> it's in the historic Christian tradition for almost quite literally 2,000 years. Uh, it's because it's because Constantine decided that uh, he wanted Christians and pagans to be friends. Um, uh, he did all of that at the Council of Nicaea in one meeting. Oh, very, very clearly, With, very obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you <laughs> read the canon? And said, "All right, guys, this yeah. is what I'm going to do." Yeah, we're going to do exactly and, what pagans do, and we're going to love. Them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Nobody has any issues with this. Wow, that's amazing. This is way easier than I thought this was going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and then, uh, so, and there's some other, there's some other things here. Now, uh, Seven Day Events aren't the only ones who say this. People misunderstand church history all the time to say this. Mm -hmm. um, 
But as we've demonstrated in this video, Christians have been using pagan text since the first century. Paul wrote two thirds of the New Testament and he quotes pagans multiple times. As we showed earlier, actually the same Greek poet twice in order to make the point that he wanted to make. Christianity has always used uh, pagan philosophy, Greek philosophy, whatever you want to call it, even their religious ideas in order to make points, which is why later on, when you get people like Justin Martyr, you get people like Origen, and flawed though they were in several areas, they used full Greek philosophy because it was powerful to use it in that context. And it worked for them. They made some good arguments based on like the hypocrisy of Rome, not living up to their virtue of justice when persecuting Christians and all these other different kinds of arguments and theologies used the conceptualization of the doctrine of the Trinity was you was, <laughs> was um, built up in part using philosophy, like Greek mm. philosophical concepts. So, um, so this whole idea that the church at a later point after the Bible got all this pagan influence and that's why the church became corrupted in their idea of God's love, which is a very vague thing. I have no idea what they're mm -hmm. talking about. Um, they don't cite any sources <laughs> to back them up, which I don't expect them to at this point. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, so they don't cite anything as support for that. So. I can, I'll dismiss that just as easily as they said it. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, at a later point in time, ideas of God's love and, and the church became corrupted all because they had this pagan influence. Meanwhile, you're reading a text that is saturated in pagan ideas. Again, do research from biblical scholars on the meaning of water in uh, mm. Genesis 1, let's say, or mm. other parts of the Hebrew Bible. Look at mm. what it means to ride the clouds, the significance of clouds in general. Mm. Um, uh, uh, again, do more research on Paul's quoting of the pagans. Um, mm. Look at the Apocrypha. The, test, the texts use the Apocrypha all the time as mm. well. Um, not uh, like all of the time. Like obviously they use mm -hmm. the the, the what we as Protestants would consider the Old Testament more, nonetheless, uh, they use that stuff. Um, Peter uses the Greek word Tartarus uh, mm -hmm. in his letters to talk about the like angels in prison, I believe, which mm -hmm. goes back to guess what Greek mythology, <laughs> where mm -hmm. the uh, I believe I forget who was held in in imprisoned in Tartarus. The Titans. Uh, yes, okay, the Titans. Yeah, where the Titans are imprisoned in Tartarus. And mm -hmm. Peter makes that... The, the holy apostle Peter who wrote scripture and was probably used as a source for Mark's gospel, if Christian tradition mm -hmm. is true, uh, used pagan mythology or Greek mythology. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm suspicious of whenever Christians use the word pagan, that's another thing. Um, uh, <laughs> that is already established, right? Yeah. Um, Greek mythology, not even philosophy, but mythology. Right. Uh, uh, with some of the word choices he made as well. So even if Superman was just like wholly influenced by pagan con concepts, <laughs> it wouldn't change the fact that Christians can love this character. Right. Our, our church, our theological concepts, and our text, Old and New Testament, was built mm -hmm. in part off the backs of pagan concepts where the authors would sometimes agree and just substitute the God mm -hmm. and other times disagree and engage in polemics. But either way, mm -hmm. we without that context, we wouldn't have the text that I'm sure Little Light Studios thinks is infallible. All right. And inerrant. So so overall, quick uh quick recap. They 
misunderstand how again i'm a biblical studies major i've taken yeah, classes yeah. and read textbooks on biblical interpretation I've, and i'm mm -hmm. continuing to do so right. they have failed to apply the text of scripture properly mm -hmm. um, right. they have conveniently ignored all of the pagan influence within the text of scripture they mm -hmm. have misinterpreted nietzsche <laughs> uh which is great yeah they mis fundamentally misinterpret smallville which is crazy because right. it seems like they watched it um <laughs> yeah, uh you know smallville just uh, enough. maybe they watched it just enough yeah, smallville is not doing subtlety here um <laughs> um and they no. fail to make a coherent argument and mm -hmm. uh they never establish that superman denies that jesus came in the flesh right or even the existence of jesus in right. the universe like, such that yeah. there is something to reject right yeah that's so true we never made i don't think we made that point specifically like we didn't make that yeah. point explicit yeah. yeah yeah but yeah so i i don't even know if jesus, if jesus actually exists in dc universe such that there would be something to reject right such that the or term exists anti in the same way yeah. yeah that's actually a discussion i had with a different tiktok named christian assassin because i talked to him about um um oh there was a magazine called movie guide that mm. gave Doctor Strange like the worst possible rating because they were talking about how his powers came from Satan, basically. And I said, no, like you have to. That's dig not deep how that works. <laughs> no, like you have to actually dig deep into Marvel lore to find out where he gets his specific powers. And what's funny about that is I, I'm actually like a pretty big Ghost Rider fan. He used to be my favorite oh, uh, yeah. Marvel. Yeah, and Ghost Rider's mythos is that he sold his soul to the literal devil to gain his powers. Yeah, and the question I asked rhetorically, movie guide is okay. So if Mephistopheles within the Marvel universe is literally Satan, is the Phoenix Force literally God? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, well, the answer yeah. is no because they no. can never be consistent <laughs> in how they read yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, no, and do their allegories. So that's not at all what the Marvel writers had any intention of doing when they wrote that story. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, Little Light Studios has failed on about six accounts <laughs> in my in my in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yes. And I would encourage Christians if the character of Superman again is going to continue to be reimagined as Christ-like then do what Paul did in Romans 5, do what Jesus did in other places, compare the actual Christ to Superman and use the contrasts as a means of glorifying God and pointing out, okay, this is the case with Superman. Superman can turn evil. Christ will never turn evil. Right. Through right. Adam. Don't be came, scared. Yeah. Don't be scared if he does. Through, it's okay. Right. Yeah. And if you want a good version of, of superman paralleling christ then read the doomsday events yeah because that's yeah because that's i think that's the most that's a little more explicit yeah yeah yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yes yeah, yeah and it's actually true to form for a pre-millennial eschatology yeah 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 so while superman can turn evil uh christ never will and mm -hmm. you know and you could say in a similar way that Paul will say, through Adam came sin and death, sin and death, mm -hmm. but through Christ comes life and righteousness. Mm -hmm. It's typology, but based on contrast. And that's the whole right. point. Yeah. Please. Uh, Little Light Studios, if you're watching <laughs> this, uh, probably not. But uh, And anyone who is watching this, keep that in mind. Also, also keep in mind that um, the particularly in Zack Snyder's universe, the whole Jesus Superman comparison is actually kind of confused for several different reasons, and it's mm -hmm. kind of weird. Um, I would suggest that you guys watch a three-part video series called Superman Isn't Jesus by a YouTube, uh, different YouTuber. I think he has some very good and nuanced views, especially when mm -hmm. it comes to, like, you know, in depicting him and as Christ-like and appealing to Christians, are we mm -hmm. engaging in, like, a cultural supersessionism? And ignoring mm. the Jewishness of the character, and it, which, oh. if you push that too far, could possibly be anti-Semitic. So he has some good thoughts on that. That was a really <laughs> good point he brought up, among some other things. So please go check him out as well. Because um, again, remember, Little Light Studios can even only think about making this argument <laughs> if the character is parallel to Christ, which isn't has for most of his history 
not been true to the character. Right. So, uh, do you have any final thoughts before we close? We have like three minutes. Um, no, I'm just thankful that I made it back. That we got to yes. talk about my favorite hero, Superman, yeah. and we should do it again sometime. Yes, uh, for sure. <laughs> I would. I would love to do this again. Thank you uh, so much for this. Thank you so much for watching. And if I have earned it, please like, share, and subscribe, and follow me for more nerdy content like this and Christian content like this as well. Thank you so much, and I hope this was helpful to you. Bye.